Hey, welcome to the show. Take a look at this gigantic division problem. We're going to be dividing this big number by a two-digit number. Don't worry. We're going to take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, step by step. And if you want to try this on your own, hit the pause button. And when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. All right, let's go ahead and begin. How in the world can you begin with something like that? You just got to take it step by step. Cover up some numbers if you need to. So can I take 20, can I take uh, a 29 from the 1? You cannot. No. Can I take a 29 from the 15? No. Can I take, can I divide 154 by 29? Yes, you can put 29 in here. But how many times? Now here's my little trick on how I do that. I always like to do some figuring on the side and I'll take 29 and I'll just start multiplying it by maybe like two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 29 times two. Nine times two is 18, carry the one. Two times two is four, plus the one is five. I'll do another one, 29 times three. Nine times three is 27, carry the two. Three times two is six, seven, eight. And then I'll do 29 times four. Nine times four is 36, carry the three. Four times two is eight, nine, 10, 11. And let's do one more and we'll do our fives. 29 times five. So 29 times five would be 45. Carry the four, five times two is 10, plus the four would be 144. These numbers are gonna come in useful so I don't have to do uh, all that work later on. So can I put, I can put 29 into 154, but how many times? The closest number right here would be five times. And if you're not sure, you can always do one more like 29 times six. So nine times six is 54. And then six times two is 12, plus the five would be 17. Seven, 174 is way too high, so we're gonna stay with five. So I'm gonna put the five right here. Now five times 29 equals 145. So I write 145 right here. And then I subtract that. So I need to borrow here, don't I? I cannot take four minus five, I need to borrow. So I'm gonna take one away from the five, that'll be a four, and then 14 minus five would be nine. Now I need to drop the next number down. Right here, just drop it down. And now I have 90. How many times can I take 29 into 90? Do you see anything in here? I have 87 and then 116. That is too high, so we're gonna stay with three. So I'm gonna put a three right here, and then three times 29 equals 87. I'm gonna start writing a little um, smaller because I think this problem is gonna be uh, quite big by the time I finish. So I gotta go ahead and subtract. I need to borrow, so this will be an eight, this is a 10, so seven, eight, nine, 10. This is a three, and then I drop the next number down. I like making these squiggly lines. That, I, that way it keeps, I can able, I am able to keep track of such a big number. I'm gonna bring that all the way down here to right there. I drop the one all the way down here. So I have 31. Can I put 29 into 31? Yes, but only one time. So I put one right here. So one times 29 is 29 and I'm writing smaller. <laughs> I need to borrow here, so this will be a two. This is 11, 11 minus nine is two. And now, next step, I drop the next number down, right here, and I put a zero. Now this is interesting when we get here. I have 20, and what number times 29 can fit into 20? One times 29 is too big. Now don't forget the zero, that is also a digit. So if I take zero times 29, I can make it a zero. 
I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. I put a zero right here. Zero times twenty-nine equals zero. Then I subtract, and then zero minus zero is zero. Two, bring the two down, and then I bring the next step is to bring the next number down. All right, so bring all the way down here, and now I have the three. I have two hundred three. All right. Now, I can put twenty nine into two hundred three. Do you know how many times? It's not six. It's a bigger number. All right. So I'm going to try seven. Twenty nine times seven. So nine times seven is sixty three. Carry the two, and then seven times two is fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Bingo! It matched. So I'm going to go ahead and put my seven up here. Seven times twenty-nine equals two hundred three. Subtract that, and we have a remainder. I'm going to take this paper out here so you can see everything. We have a remainder of zero. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a great. Time. I have other problems on my channel just like this. They're a lot of fun to do, and I hope you're having a fun time too. I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and be safe out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Bye.